Hello and welcome to the installation video for how to install Kim, the AI framework mod for Skyrim. To install Kim, it does require a little bit more setup compared to most other Skyrim mods, so we have made it quite easy. Primarily, the mod takes advantage of three different types of AI services. LLMs, or large language models, text-to-speech, which gives the AI a voice, and speech to text, which is optional but allows you to use your microphone to interact with the AI NPCs. We do provide a lot of options for each of these services. However, for simplicity of this video, we're going to be covering a single large language model provider, two text to speech engines, and two speech to text engines. For our large language model provider, we are going to be using Open Router, a tried and true classic we've been using for quite a while. It is an online service which provides a huge variety of all sorts of large language models, all the popular AI services you see online. They also have a lot of very affordable models and also some very expensive models if you want. And also they are usually a little bit less moderated compared to most other providers. However, to use Open Router, you do need to spend $5. I want to clarify, this is not a paid Skyrim mod. The mod is completely free. However, to take advantage of the latest and greatest in AI large language models, you do need access to a rather powerful data center, and Open Router gives you access to those data centers for a rather reasonable price. Fortunately, the payment model for Open Router is pay as you go. You're gonna put $5 down, and you only get charged when you actually play the game. So if you're not playing the game, your credits will not go anywhere. Anyway, all you need to do is create an account, Put $5 of credits on it at minimum, and then create an API key. An API key is like a special password to your account. The important thing of API keys is you should never share them with anyone. If someone gets access to your API key, they can take advantage of your credits and spend all your money on your account. So keep it somewhere secure. Next up, we have our text-to-speech options. Unfortunately, both of these are free. The first one is our tried and true classic, XTTS. It's rather powerful and has rather good voice quality. It's the one we recommend you use. However, there are some limitations. You do need a NVIDIA GPU for it to work, as NVIDIA GPUs work better with this AI technology. And secondly, it does use up four gigabytes of VRAM, which means if you have a heavily modded Skyrim, you may have difficulties running this on smaller cards. However, our second text-to-speech option is Mellow TTS. The quality is not as good, but it will run on a toaster. Doesn't matter what machine you have. It is a very efficient text-to-speech service. It's just not going to sound the best, but it's better than not having any voices. And finally, we have our speech-to-text options, and as time of recording, both of these are free. The first one, the one we recommend, is DeepGram. It is an online speech-to-text service, and surprisingly enough, even though it is an online service, they do still provide, as time of recording, $200 in credit when you set up an account. This is not a scam, it's been like this for a year. Anyway, if you set up an account with DeepGram and set up an API key like you would do with Open Router, you'll have $200 of speech-to-text credit, which is practically infinite, as speech-to-text is a rather cheap service. And finally, we have Local Risper, which is something you install locally with the mod. It's pretty okay quality, it's completely free, because you're running it off your computer, but it does have a little hardware requirement of roughly 1-2 to two gigabytes of VRAM, and it can be a little bit slower compared to online services. This is more of a backup option in case you can't get any others working. Anyway, without further ado, let's get Kim installed. The first thing you'll need to do is open up your control panel, go to Programs and Features, and then you need to click Turn Windows Features On or Off. And scroll down to the bottom, and you're going to need to make sure that Virtual Machine Platform, Windows Hypervisor Platform, and Windows Subsystem for Linux are checked. Then click OK. You will need to restart your system after you click these settings and actually restart your system, then come back to the installation. Next, we are going to go to the mod download page and we are going to download the Dremor distro file. This is a manual download 
and it is roughly a gig or so, so it will take a little bit, so just be patient. Then, once that's downloaded, open up the zip file, take the Drama AI Skyrim 3 folder, and place it somewhere important on your computer. In this demonstration, I'm going to be placing it on my desktop. Then, we're going to open up the folder, and right-click the installed distro.bat file and run it as admin. This is safe to run as admin, and you don't need to run it as admin if you don't trust me. Next, we'll open up a command prompt which will check if the WSL settings are installed from the control panel are actually installed. This only works if you run it as admin. If everything looks good, you can simply press enter. It will then install WSL2. After that, press enter again, and then it will install the Drema distro. Once you have to finish installing, you should get an installation complete message. And once you press enter again, it will open up your web browser back to the download page because now we're going to install the Skyrim mod. Simply what you need to do next is get the AI agent file and download it with your mod manager of choice. In this case, I'm using Mod Organizer 2, which I will use to install the file. Once the mod is installed and activated, you'll want to open up the mod folder and within it, you're going to see a file called kim.exe. We are going to right click, create a shortcut of this, and place it on your desktop. Now we're going to run the kim.exe file, and it should open up the kim launcher. The first thing you're going to want to do is click the update button. This will update the drama distro to the latest first, and it may take a minute or two for it to download all the updates. Now we are going to click install components and we're presented with quite a few options. I'm going to show you how to install most of them, but you do not need to install all of them. You only need one text-to-speech service, for example. You only need CUDA if you have a NVIDIA GPU and it's highly recommended. You should always install Minimi because it provides some rather useful services. If you have a NVIDIA GPU in power, you should install Kimex DTS. For everyone else, install Mellow TTS. And if you're not planning to use DeepGram, then you should install Local Risper. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to install all of these. You can freely skip the sections of the ones you do not need to install. For the CUDA installation, it will take a little bit as it will have to download a lot of packages. You will get to a point where you get to a blue menu. To bypass the blue menu, you just have to press Tab, and then Enter, then Down Arrow, and enter. Then just wait for it to install and it should have a message at the bottom once it's finished installing you can then just close the menu. Minimi is also quite simple you just have to wait for it to be finished installing and once it's done you'll be presented with two options. If you have an NVIDIA GPU use the GPU setting. If you have an AMD GPU use the CPU setting. The XTTS installation will also take a little bit of time as it has a lot to download and you should only really be using it if you have a NVIDIA GPU. Once it's done downloading, you will be presented with three options of how you want it to run. I highly recommend you just pick regular. Afterwards, it will install the regular model for it to work and once that's done installing, it should provide a little menu. You just have to press Control c to exit it and you have it installed. The Mellow TTS installation is small and fast. Once you get to the end, you have two options. The video GPU, then you use the GPU setting. An AMD GPU, and you're going to use the CPU setting. Finally, for local RISPA, once the installation is done, I highly recommend you pick the small GPU setting if you have a NVIDIA GPU, and the small CPU setting if you have an AMD GPU. Anyway, once you have all the components installed, you simply just have to go back to the main Kim menu and click Start Server. Once the server has booted up, you should see a web browser screen appear. And you should see the Quick Start menu. Now, all you need to do is enter in your Skyrim's character's name, then paste in your open router key you made earlier. We have a link here if you forgot to do that. Enable both Minimi and Ogma if you installed Minimi. For your text-to-speech engine, simply select the one you installed earlier, and the same thing for your speech-to-text option. If you have DeepGram, you'll just need to paste in the API key. Finally, at the bottom, you'll see a list of the current default LLM selections for Kim. We do provide four, which you can hot swap in-game. Just keep these in mind. The standard ones should be good enough to get you going. You don't have to do anything to configure these. Finally, just click the Save button. 
with your quick start set and saved, there is nothing else you need to do on the web server here. You can go around and configure, there's a lot of settings you can mess about with, but for just getting started, let's just jump right into Skyrim. Now, with the Kim server running, all you need to do is boot up Skyrim with the AI agent mod installed. Once you load into Skyrim, all you need to do is load up any game. You do not need to start a new game to use Kim. You can use it with existing saves. Once you load in game, you simply just have to open the mod configuration menu and select the Kim mod. From here, we have a lot of hotkeys we can set, but all we need to do is set up a push to talk hotkey if you are using speech to text, a text chat hotkey so you can actually interact using your keyboard, and two other important hotkeys are the settings reel and the mode reel. You don't need to use them initially, but they're good to have binded. They provide you with a lot of controls. Finally, all you need to do is walk up to any NPC and use your hotkey of interaction to interact with them. Hello, how are you? Well now, you a cheerful one. I'm Angie, and you are... If you got a successful response, then you have the mod perfectly installed. Well done. Now, at this point, you can go back into the configuration menu and do a lot of tweaking and tinkering to the settings of the mod. There's a lot of settings you can configure. However, I highly recommend that you just sit down and you just play Skyrim. Just talk to some NPCs, see what you like, see what you don't like, and then after a little bit, go into the menus and start tweaking the mod to your specific liking. Anyway, this pretty much ends this installation video. It only covers the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with the Kim mod. I highly recommend you join our Discord and read our wiki to get a better understanding of what you can do with Kim. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video useful, and please just take it easy.